today my job is to verify these tool pads and make sure that this machine is not going to crash. I have to um, watch every move and, and I have to look at the distance to go when I hit the button and it tells me what it's going to do next. And uh, for every hole on this thing, and then uh, there will be one mounted on the other side as well that's different left and a right. These are shock towers for something. So that's what I'm doing today, bit by bit. Here's my G code that I have to use, and I have to read it and make sure that what I do is not going to crash this $800,000 machine. You can see by the lines in this piece that it's not cast. It's actually a $5,000 model that's been made by additive machining. Um, the additive machining, it's like a 3D printing. So. That was scary, eh? Yeah, find that perfectly. I knew that was going to work because the previous tool was did the same spots. So, um, crazy thing about this model, this 3D printed prototype that they built, somebody built for us. So I, I have all the holes in it already that they made so I can see that my tools are doing approximately the right thing. Now that looks like it's going to crash into that so I better stop talking and watch what I'm doing. So this B20 will try it at negative uh, 45. let itself correct later on the G68 line, the G53. So we're going to try that again. Oh, the thing I was going to mention about this prototype is this bottom corner that's very critical for our setup it was bent about a half an inch. Someone dropped this thing. Crazy. There we go. It'll clear comfortably now. Oh, fuck. That scared the shit out of me. Okay, and that's it.